Hey y'all, Brooke the Broker here. Thank you for tuning in. This is the most anticipated video of them all. And this is the video where I compare what has happened so far in 2020 to the year the real estate market absolutely tanked in the Fredericksburg area. And little do you know, it wasn't 2008. Stay tuned. Okay, so in this video, I'm comparing the first half of 2022 to the year the real estate market tanked here in the Fredericksburg area. And before I do that, though, I need to ask you a favor. Please subscribe to my channel. I have very few subscribers. Let's get a ton of subscribers out there, guys. I put this information out there for you. I put this out here for my clients, for my fellow agents, for my teammates. I put it out there for everybody. So please subscribe. That way it's going to show up on more people's searches. And I'm actually the one telling you what actually is happening in like real life. Like I live this and I do all this research on my own. I'm not just speculating and I'm not just sharing my opinion or commenting on what somebody else has been saying. Like this is real folks. This is what's going on. So please subscribe. So I get up a little bit higher in the search engines on YouTube. I would greatly appreciate that. So did you know that the year that the real estate market absolutely tanked in Fredericksburg was 2007. It was 2007. It was not 2008, which was when the rest of the world realized what was going on. 2007 is when it happened, folks. And people didn't realize it for a whole other year. But those of us who were in real estate back then, oh my gosh, we knew something bad was about to happen. So I want to give you some stats. 2007 compared to 2019, uh, I almost said 2019, 2022. So you can clearly understand that this is not a crash about to happen. So we just came off 2006, was supposedly the best year in real estate at that time. And by June of 2007, in our area, we had sold 2,176 houses. And that was just about 22% fewer homes than the year prior. Okay, so that's a number of homes. Now, I also will say this, it's been a long time between 2022 and 2007, and we've had a lot more houses being built between those years, over those 15 years, and we've had more apartments and just more other housing opportunities that are out there. So that 2,176 number, I think is a pretty good number um, if we put it in relative terms, but in 2019, so far this year, we have sold 1,713 more houses than we did in 2007. We've sold 79% more houses so far this year than in the same period in that beginning of the crash, okay? So I think we're doing okay there. The other thing is in 2007, in our area, the average um, sales price was $310,000. That's pretty high. It went way down after that. And right now it's 425,000. So for the value to go up on average about 115,000 over 15 years, I think that's reasonable guys. That's not crazy. Uh, to put it in comparison, in 2006, the peak market, prices were $337,500. So there actually was a decrease of 8%. We're not seeing a decrease in house prices this year compared to last year. We're seeing an increase of 13% this year compared to last year. So let's put it in perspective. The other thing is total sales volume. I think this is absolutely incredible. So far this year, we have sold in the Fredericksburg area alone $1 billion more of real estate value. Not $1 million, $1 billion more. In 2007, the total sales volume was 743000 and some 
or excuse me, 743 million and some change, okay? We have sold 1,743,000 so far in 2022. And to compare that to 2006, which was the best year, they, we sold just over 1 billion total. So actually the volume from 2006 to 2007 was down 26%. We're, we're not seeing that guys, we're not seeing that. So another indication that we're not going into a crash. Average time it took to sell a house in the first half of 2007 was 89 days. 89 days. In 2006, the best real estate year ever, 54 days was the average. <laughs> and we're sitting pretty. At 16 is the average so far this year, but in reality, as of the filming of this video at the end of July, we're looking at 25, 30 days as average. Holy moly, we're still doing quite well. And the one last thing I want to comment on are the number of houses that were for sale at the same time of 2007, okay? So by the end of June, on July 1st in 2007, there were 3,711 single family homes on the market, an additional 425 townhouses and an additional 53 condos. We have 866 houses on the market, guys. 3,700 in 2007. Now we have less than 900. There are 77 townhouses on the market and there are only 12 condos. Come on. We definitely have an inventory problem. Now, we had an inventory problem in 2007. We had too much inventory in 2007. As a matter of fact, remember in the last video I did comparing 2022 to 2019, we talked about months of supply. In 2007, first half of the year, we had an over a 10 month supply of homes on the market. That is a crazy buyer's market. And so far this year, we have a 1.37 month supply. That is a crazy seller's market. So see, we are doing just fine. And oh, one more thing, interest rates. All the rage, we're talking about interest rates like crazy, all this kind of stuff. So, so far this year, according to Freddie Mac, in 2022, the average interest rate so far this year has been 4.52%, 4.52%, okay? In 2007, for the entire year, the average was 6.34%. That's still pretty low, but not much, not much higher than what we're dealing with right now, but it's definitely higher than what we're dealing with right now. And what I've got to say is that didn't necessarily have an impact on demand. What had an impact on demand was the tightening of lending standards to begin with. And we already have those tightening of lending standards in place here in 2022. And people are still buying homes with those tightening lending standards because these people are actually qualified to be able to buy a home. They're putting money down as a down payment and they're being smart about it. As opposed to 2007, we were still kind of lagging behind and things didn't dramatically change quite yet. So that's what's going on. Now, if you're thinking, okay, we had 3,700 homes on the market back in 2007 and we only have 900 houses on the market right now, when are the 3,000 foreclosures gonna show up on the market? Because that's what we saw back in 2007. That's not what we saw in 2007. We didn't have 3,000 foreclosures hit the market by the end of June, guys. And we're not gonna have that here in Fredericksburg. Every week, there are a few more foreclosures that are coming on the market. There are foreclosures on the market all the time. We went through almost two years with zero foreclosures. And that is not because people weren't foreclosing on their home. It was because the government put in regulations that stopped foreclosures from happening. 
So you're going to hear reports that foreclosures are seriously up. Well, yeah, because the number has been zero for two years. And then you have one foreclosure, two foreclosures. I think we have four on the entire market in Fredericksburg right now. That's a 400% increase in the last two years. Don't panic about that, guys, okay? So comparing 2007 to 2022, we are not in a crash. Things are changing. Things always change. And you need a pro on your side who knows what is happening in the market. So if you or someone you know wants to buy a home this year, sell a home this year, want to do some improvements to get a house ready to sell in two years, whatever you need when it comes to real estate, please reach out to me and my team. We are here to help you. We know the market. We know what's going on out there. We know the, the trends. We know the colors people want in their houses, all that kind of stuff. Reach out to us. We would love to be able to help you. And we love what we do. And I hope to look at you soon. Have a great day.